Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Sandra Yatansari from 5G class. In this video, I would like to review a research article to fulfill my evaluasi pembelajaran bahasa Inggris assignment with its title, What Does Language Assessment Literacy Mean to Teachers? which is conducted by three great researchers, namely Vivian Berry, Suzanne Sheehan, and Sonia Munro. Okay, let's start from the first discussion. It's about the research questions. This research was conducted by the researchers to answer the following questions as follows. This is question number one. What are teacher attitudes? to the assessment and the second research question is how confident do teachers feel about engaging in assessment activities and the third research question is how confident do teachers about engaging in testing and the last research question is what impact does assessment have on the classroom then the second discussion is the data collection the researcher investigated teachers practices beliefs and attitude towards the assessment through a range of qualitatively oriented research methods which included individual interviews classroom observation with follow-up interviews and focus group discussion hence the participants on this research were some teachers based in the uk and france and spain there are three stages used for the data collection in this research. Stage one, in this first stage, this research conducted a semi-structured interview to explore what assessment training had received by teachers and the impact of testing and assessment on their teaching practice in the classroom. The interview in this stage was done with three teachers whose nationality were Polish, British, and Hungarian. They were working in a UK university and they were selected for a range of their backgrounds and experiences, as you can see on the table shown. And then the stage two. The second stage comprised classroom observations and still follow up with an interviews, but with three different teachers. They were working at a study center still in a UK university. In this stage was conducted to determine what assessment practices that they actually use in the classroom. All the three teachers who participated in this stage were British, but their reality work experience differed considerably, as you can see on the table shown here. Then the classroom observation schedule in this stage was inspired by one created by Colby Kelly and Turner in 2007. The schedule consisted of 16 types of assessment activities. These researchers listed each time when they observed any types of the activities in the classroom. And every three minutes, they started with a new observation state. The observation sheet not only considered of space for ticks like an empty space in a square shape then we can tick them but it also contains space for notes question about what researchers were observing furthermore the interviews either included questions about attitudes to assessment or the effects of testing on the classroom and discussion teachers needs stage three in the last stage of data collection, which is consisted of five focus group discussions with 48 EFL teachers working in a large international organization that either for recruit or for trained teachers. The participants on this stage were teachers who were based in Madrid and Paris, but their experience of working covered in every continent level and type of language learners. Moreover, they were all either native speakers of English. The main purpose of this stage was to confirm that the data results from stages 1 and 2 were broader range of English language teachers, so to gain additional insights of what actual activities that should be included in online training materials. Each focus group was consisted of six to eight participants and was facilitated by the researcher to open the discussion, which consisting of comments from the second stage responses. Participants were invited to discuss their opinions as a group. This stage was done for approximately 
19 minutes discussion for each group. Thus, it was including the second stage teacher's needs and responses. Next, the data analysis of the research. The data analysis of this research was done in addition to the observation sheets. The final data from those three stages of data collection above which were consisted of 16 hours of oral discussions. Moreover, those oral data were coded by two experienced researchers using a software called Atlas.t version 7, which is a tool for analyzing qualitative data. Also, the research used a framework that consisted of three components of assessment literacy. The first component is skills, including the items of writing, statistics, and so on, and the second component is knowledge, including the issues in measurement and language description, etc. And the last component is principles, including the proper use of language test, their fairness and impact. Also, this research took a deductive approach with each researcher coding them independently. Then after that, the two sets of coding were being compared. Anything was done well, either any disagreements or consensus were discussed until reach the decision. The third discussion is the findings. Findings for the first research question of what are teacher attitudes to the assessment. According to the teachers as the participant in this research, assessment was considered inter-negatively, but teaching with good assessment practices, it was considered to be a part of good teaching. Also, in addition, it appears that being a good teacher was important. And then next, the answer for the second research question of how confident do teachers feel about engaging in assessment activities. And the third research question of how confident do teachers feel about engaging in testing. It would seem to be that the most of participants in the study felt unconfident about engaging in either testing or assessment activities. Comments from teachers in all stages of the study were suggested that the influence of test in the classroom is all pervasive. A teacher told that students only focus on their test course and that is detrimental to language learning as it may promote a superficial approach to learning and yes of course students are always better about the score they just fix it on the numbers and they are not caring at what they've done last for the fourth research question of what impact does assessment have on the classroom it is clear that assessment has a huge influence on the classroom naturally but in but the influence may not always be positive. In some ways, assessment has become synonymous with testing and it could be perceived as having a negative impact on language learning. Okay, the last discussion is about the research gap. According to the study, until this time, there are only a few research for connecting towards teachers' attitude in assessment practices with their classroom practices naturally. In addition, this research was published in 2019, so this research article is still a fresh one, a new one, then actually a research gap is a bit hard to be found as I have a few understanding for each of them. But in this research article, I found that the participant for the three stages were not equal or it seems to be different separately. Either the first stage or the second stage were done with three teachers for each, but the last stage was done with 48 teachers. I think it appears as a population gap. It should be more research conducted for assessing and teaching classroom-based research to gain and develop a better understanding either assessment practices or teachers' need. Thus, it can meet what teachers need in assessment literacy in order to gain more good assessors. That is all that I can deliver in this video for all the mistakes and said words. I do apologize previously. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Stay safe and stay healthy. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.